On March 30th, 2016, Donald Trump appeared on MSNBC and laid out what would become the Republican strategy to ban abortion. I would say that it's a very serious problem, and it's a problem that we have to decide on. Uh, is it's very? But you're I mean, forbidding are you it. Are going to say? Well, wait. Are you going to say put them in jail? Are you, is that? Well, the now what I'm asking you, about? because you say you want to ban it. What's I, that mean? I, would, I am against. I am pro-life. Yes. What is ban? How do you ban abortion? How do you actually do it? Well, you know, you'll go back to a a position like they had, where people will perhaps go to illegal places, yeah. but you have to ban it. Do you believe, no, in, but, pun but you're, do you believe you're, in punishment for abortion, yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. And then Texas did exactly what Trump wanted. I don't know. They are the Taliban, you know. I mean, this is the Taliban that's doing this to you. This is a religious extremist movement. You know, it's interesting because the Taliban wear these stupid little red hats, too. I don't know if you've noticed that, but the Taliban wears these stupid, stupid little red hats. And uh, the Texas, uh, you know, religious extremists, they also wear stupid little red hats. They have so much in common. They all it, this is not pro-life. This is anti-woman. That's what George Carlin said years and years ago when he was commenting on this uh infusion of taking away your right to privacy into the political arena okay and and he he did a riff it was like a almost a 10 minute riff on uh you know abortion and why conservative religious fanatics go after women all the time and it's not because they're pro-life because obviously Texas just passed a law that says that you can have a I mean we're going to look just like Afghanistan in five five more minutes as of uh, yesterday, you could have a gun in Texas without a license, without a background check, without fingerprints, without training, without just everybody could be. I mean, it's going to look just like Waziristan. Do you understand? And uh, they just deputized these right wing radical lunatic fringe people who are now all armed in Texas to be the judge, jury and executioner of women, of women. They can stalk women now. They can report their exes because they think that they had an abortion, you know, uh, uh, six weeks and a day after they knocked them up or what. I mean, this is just creating such a violent, violent culture that there's and it's and it's it's a violent culture against people of different religions, people who have no religion, people who are you know, Sikhs or Jews or, 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 you know, friendly Episcopalians. You know what I mean? This is a uber, uber extreme religious view of what America should do and look like and be like. And it's giving permission to wild trolls to become, you know, the judge, jury, and executioner of women and they've been misogynist they're proud misogynist that's what the proud boys are proud of that they hate women they say it out loud and so texas law now outsources law enforcement to lunatics who say that they now have the right to declare who is an outlaw and the outlaw is going to be their ex the outlaw is going to be a young girl their outlaw is going to be a doctor an educator just like the taliban just like the Taliban. Anybody and everybody who openly uh, wants to can carry a gun now. So you know who's in charge of Texas, right? Not the majority of the people of Texas because they're against this. Over 58% are against this abortion thing and over 58% are against this open carry without a permit thing. So it isn't the majority of Texans. No, no, no. The people who are in charge of Texas now are the religious extremists who wear the red hats. This is what post-democracy looks like. You wanna, you wanna understand what America could look like when the other states with red state governors uh, you know, follow suit? Just look at Texas. Because if Texas did turn blue right now, like if people got so frustrated with all of these guns and so frustrated with the lack of privacy and the attack on voting rights, taking away your voting rights, taking away religious freedom, uh, taking away privacy, all these rights being taken away from you by religious extremists who love guns more than they love children, Sandy Hook, right? Um, and you show up to vote in large numbers, doesn't matter 
doesn't matter because the poll watchers, yeah, the minders, the vice and virtue police are going to be able to intimidate you at the polling booth so that you can't cast your ballot. And then if they don't like the result of the election, they just throw it to the legislature and overturn the result anyway. This is post-democratic. This is post-democracy, okay? This is what America looks like when it's attacked from within, from within. Nothing that ever happened to us uh, destroyed us from without. Pearl Harbor didn't destroy us. It made us uh, unified. It made us, you know, uh, uh, want to win. 9-11 didn't uh, destroy America. We destroyed America. It could never be destroyed from without. It could only be destroyed from within. And what did it take? It took the dumbing down of the population, yeah. It took the arming of the population willy-nilly, meaning absolutely no requirements to open carry, no requirements to own a gun. No, you know, I mean, it's just nothing. No background check, no fingerprints, no training. You could, you know, whatever you want. I mean, stricter for a car than for a weapon of war. Okay, great. And taking away people's rights right to vote, right to privacy, freedom of religion, gone, gone. And the Supreme Court doesn't even write an opinion anymore. They don't even write an opinion. They just use their shadow docket and they stay silent or the next day they say, no, no, we're, uh, we're not gonna tell you why, we're just gonna let the law stand pending a full ruling, which means if you are 16 years old, 17 years old, 18 years old, 20 years old, and you're poor, and you can't afford to have a baby, or you don't like the way you got pregnant, or you're, you're, you're not, you just, whatever your reason is, everybody can have one, or used to be able to have one, doesn't matter anymore. You can be trolled, you can be outed, you could be targeted, you could be, uh, your life could be ruined by people who are not wishing you well. Anybody, and they don't even have to be in the same state. Elections have consequences, they say, and, and if you're a pregnant woman in Texas, <laughs> devastating consequences for the whole rest of your life. For the whole rest of your life. So the Supreme Court, as they uh, you know, undid the eviction moratorium in the middle of a pandemic, have now just uh, weighed in, in a brief way, that they're gonna just let this uh, Texas vigilante system of religious extreme justice stand while the legal battle over it plays out. So also remaining in place will be countless unwanted pregnancies by women with six kids already, by women with four kids already, by young people, by people who were raped, by women who were the victims of incest, devastating devastating and no explanation none they didn't feel the need to explain it to you don't have time to listen to